What is going on everyone? I am Bob O'Mac and today on Crisis in the Toyverse we're looking at the Funko Disney Afternoon Darkwing Duck Chase Variant figure. And that's right, this Chase Variant is the Negatron version of Negaduck. Now you may be asking yourself, wait a minute, the Negaduck I know has the yellow with the red and the black. Why is this one done in the black and white? Well, that's because there's two versions of Naked Duck. And I had to do some research to separate the few because, as a little kid, I did not retain that knowledge into my adult life. I love Darkwing Duck, but I don't love it that much. But I am happy to talk about this figure. So, if you need to find out more about Naked Duck, Negatron version, just type it into the Google machine and you'll find some videos on it. As for the packaging, it's the same as we saw with Darkwing. Even the back's the same if I flip it around here. It would have been cool to have a little bit different artwork here for the guy. But sadly, that's not the case. But with that being said, let's go ahead and unbox him and take it from there. Alright guys, we have the figure unboxed and ready for articulation action. Like I said, this is just a variant figure. Same mold... Just different paint job. The articulation is going to be the same on this guy. So let's talk about the grays here. The grays look nice. The cream colors, if you will. Uh, no complaints on that. I like how evil and sinister the red eyes look. Those are painted very well. The cape is obviously done in this grayish color. And it's of that soft, pliable, plastic type material. We got black for the fur. And like I said, rust gray. Uh, the buttons are done nice, uh, the beak looks great, the hat looks nice, so really not too much to talk about in that regard. Now let's go ahead and break down articulation. In terms of the head, this guy can turn all the way around exorcist style. He can't really look down, he can't really look up. You can sort of get it to side to side for a moment, but then it just pops back in place. In terms of the arms, they do go out about that far. And you go down, can't spin it all the way around. No bicep cut, but we do have a hinge at the elbow, and that's it. We have a lower waist cut right here that goes all the way around, and we have the swivel at the thighs, I guess, if you want to call them that, uh, that allow it just to move all the way around like that. No in and out, things like that, just around. So all in all, basic articulation but, you know, it's a Disney Afternoon Funko line. These things have a decent amount of articulation and definitely don't hurt the wallet too. All right, gang, let's talk about the one accessory that Negaduck comes with. And that is his Darkwing Negaduck blaster gun thing. It's the same as the other one. It looks like, um, it's really not too much to say. Let's just go ahead and get it in his finger or in his hand, if you will, real quick here on camera. So as you can see, he holds it no problem. It's molded in black plastic. I mean, there's not really too much. The cool thing is, is that he can hold it and he can do things with it, which is cool. I mean, but this is to be expected considering the regular Darkwing Duck figure could do the same thing. And actually, being honest with you, he actually holds it a little better than Darkwing himself. So... That is always nice. Let's go ahead and go to the size comparison and take it from there. All right, gang, we are back with our quack attack size comparison. This is the terror of the ducks. And on one side, we have Scrooge McDuck. And on the other side, of course, we have Darkwing Duck. And in the middle, Nega Duck. There's a lot of quacking going on here. Shucky, shucky, quack, quack, baby. Anyways, let's go ahead and remove... Scrooge McDuck here, and let's talk about these two guys. Since A, they're not only uh, enemies of each other, but they're basically the same figure. As you can see, it's night and day with this. One's got color, one has a different shade of color applied to it. I really enjoy the fact that we have a villain for Darkwing Duck to mess with. I mean, I've seen some people online 
buy some of the old Playmate toys and use those with Darkwing. I think that's cool, and I think that's awesome. I definitely want to pick me up a Megavolt, but we'll see if I actually do it. But it definitely works great with each other. Now, as far as picking up this guy, I picked mine up on Big Bad Toy Store, and I'm not just saying it to plug Big Bad Toy Store. Here's the thing. When I bought it, it was easy to get, no problems. That's why I picked it up. It was marked up significantly from the other Disney Afternoon lineup, but I didn't want to spend my time trying to hunt this thing down. So you got to see if it's there. You can also check Amazon, all those other places. You should be able to find it as well. Bottom line is, I think it's cool. It's fun of the collection, but I can see why some people would pass. So you got to determine for yourself if you really want the figure or not. So with that being said, guys, that's going to do it for today's review. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for taking the time to click on this video and spend a few minutes out of your day to see what's going on here. I appreciate it. Leave a like, leave a dislike, comment, subscribe, all those things. I will try to get back to you in a timely manner. I got a slideshow at the end. I got a whole ton of links in the description below. We are definitely plugging away. Go check out Extreme Dash Sets, Big Bat Toy Store. For all things geekery in the podcast first, head over to undercovercapes.com. And lastly, on Instagram, throw a follow at Toy Lover Crew. You'll enjoy what you're seeing over there. Shout out to the DTKC Show for plugging me away. Guys, thank you so much. And until next time, great googly moogly. Oh, <laughs>